In this video, I'm going to show you how the button component works in Elements. So I've got a sample document here and I'm going to go over to my components and we're going to find the button and I'm just going to drag it into the container I have on the page. And let's bring out the node browser just so we can see the structure of the website. So here's my standard button. It's a very um, classic humble button. And we have some settings for it here. You can choose a link for it to go to. So you can link to a website address or any of the pages in your site. Um, very flexible or an anchor on your page, for example. We can also style the button. Um, we've got some font settings here. And we've also got a drop zone, which allows us to put an icon either side of the button or anything either side of the button, but it's generally used for an icon. Um, so let's style this button a little bit and then we'll look at some of the other options and things you can build with a button. So when I go into this button, I would like the background to change color. So I'm gonna to go to the background setting and you can see here we have the hover state and the start is set to blue and the end is set to the same color. So we want it to go darker. So now if we move to there, you can see that is darker. I'd also like my corners of my button to be curved. So what we can do, we can go to the borders area. I'm going to click on static because I want the borders to be the same. And by default, it's set to default. And this gives us a nice little curve. And this is based on the theme we're using. So if I go ahead and change the theme, you can see our button updates to reflect that. So some of the themes are more curvy than others, and some of them are very straight there. Um, but this system theme has a nice little curve on it. And of course, we can override that and customize it however we want. If we wanted a full curve on the button, we could do that. I'm going to set each edge to full. And now we get this nice curved button. Um, I'd like a little bit more space either side of the text here. So what I can do, I can go into sizing. Uh, sorry, we can go into spacing and I can increase the padding on either side. So let's go to 10 and you can see the button increases in width and you could do the same for the top and bottom. But I'm going to keep that on two and let's make this something a little bit more sensible. Seven. So this is looking quite nice now. Um, I can go into the fonts and text and again we've got the normal state and the hover state here so we can change how it looks on either state. Um, I would like to increase the size so let's go large and we could make that bold. So this is looking pretty good now from our standard button this is looking quite nice. Um, and We could change the text here if I wanted to go with the brand color and make it a little bit faint. So when I roll in, it goes a bit more contrasty. So that's looking good. Let's drag in another button and we can look at how to add an icon to the button. Now, what I'm gonna do first, I am just going to add a grid to my design so I can put the buttons in there and we can line them up. So there's our first button and let's drop in another one. So again, we've got our standard button. I could have copied and pasted this or duplicated this if we want to work on this. But I'm going to start again with this one. And what we want to do, I want to add a drop zone in here. And I want a drop zone on the right because what I'm thinking, um, I would like to uh, add an icon in there, like a little arrow. So I'm going to use an SVG there. So I can take an SVG, drop it in. And now I've got this SVG. Um, so let's go ahead and go to our resources. Now I've got some SVGs in here already uh, as this is a sample document. I'm going to take this little arrow and I'm going to drop it in there. And this is looking quite nice. Um, so what we need to do now, uh, the SVG is a little large, so let's change the sizing on that. So we can bring it right down and now it's a... Um, now it's a bit more in line. This is a bit more what we want. So let's change the, um, what I'm thinking is I don't want a background on this because I'm going to put an outline around it and I can change the text color. So let's go darker on this and the same for the hover. Uh, in fact, yep. And then uh, we'll make that a little bit heavier and make the font larger. So now we've got this other button with an icon in it, which looks nice. And let's go, we can put a border on this. I can put a static border 
and I'm going to put a border width of two. Um, but we can override this and we could set it to whatever we want with this other control here. Um, but I'm going to go with a theme setting and just set it to two. Uh, it's currently set um, to surface. Let's make that a bit darker. Yeah, so this is um, this is looking quite good. Now I can continue to configure this. Perhaps there's a bit too much room um, between the icon and the text. I would like that smaller so I can change the spacing option here and I want the um, icon to be a bit closer to the edge. So again, we'll go into the spacing option for the button and I'll reduce that down a little bit to get something that's looking nice. So this is looking really good. Um, what I would like to happen, I would like the icon here to animate um, when I roll into the button. So we can do that. And what I'm going to do here, because this um, is getting in the way, I can go up to my editor and just turn show titles off. And this is useful when you're working on small objects. So now I know I've got the SVG selected and I want to add a transform to this um, and I want it to happen on hover and I want it to happen on the parent so if I just leave it on the self only this will animate let's add a little bit um, of animation here so that's okay let's add that to the end and we're just going to do 5px on the horizontal animation so when I roll into or over the icon um, it moves, but I want it to move when I roll over the button, which we can do. So let's set that to parent. And now when I roll over this button, you can see the little icon moves, which is a nice, uh, which is a nice effect. So and we can combine these effects to do all kinds of different things. Um, and you can put anything you like in this SVG. Um, there's a little plus icon. Um, have a little home icon you know you can design it however you like really easy and of course we can flip this drop zone to the other side uh, you can adjust the spacing to get that correct or we could switch it off so really easy now let's um, duplicate this button and I would like to add a bit of animation to this button so the button moved when we rolled over it so let's again go to transform and we want to switch on the hover. So now we have a start and end state and we want to move this up and down vertically. So maybe when we hover on this, it could rise up. Uh, so we'll do minus 10 PX on the vertical. Yeah, uh, maybe a little bit more subtle five. This is good. So this, uh, Got a little bit of animation there, very nice. Um, and what we could also do, we could add a uh, shadow to the button as well. Um, and we can add a hover state on that, so we get two different buttons. So let's add a small shadow to the start, and on the end, we'll add a large shadow. So now, when I roll over this, let's actually view that in the browser. There we are. So the button moves up, we've got the text highlighting and we've got a nice little shadow. So there's a simple button. This one's a bit more animated. And then we've got this button with an animated SVG inside of it. So these are really, um, really flexible buttons. You know, you, you can build things that um, they don't have to look like buttons. Um, if we switch the borders off here, now we've got, um, We've just got some text with an icon by it. Uh, let's move that to the left. So this is nice, you know, and we could animate this button as well so that both things animate. Um, let's do a hover and let's just check what that was on 5px. Um, so, uh, oops, let's put that end to px. So now when I, um, hover into this both the text and the icon moves which is very nice and we could change the color of the text so when I hover over it the uh, the color goes to blue let's go and view that in the browser so these are really flexible and you can do a lot of nice things 
with the button and they don't even have to look like buttons they can just be links there with a little bit of animation on them so that's the button component in elements it's really flexible and you can do a lot with it and there's a lot more to explore in here so i'd encourage you to add some buttons to your projects have a play around and see what you can build thanks for watching this one and i will see you in the next yeah.